My name is Spike Atkinson. My granddad is John Atkinson. While I have no discernible talents, he is an incredibly talented artist. One of the mediums in which he excels is paper mache. Grandad doesn't have internet access, and so his work goes largely unseen, aside from a few sporadic exhibits. So I decided to share his incredible paper mache artwork on social media site Reddit. The response was overwhelming and attracted comments of surprise, disbelief, and lots of requests for videos of his work and for him working on something. This is the first instalment of those videos. Hello! <laughs> Two girls ended up in New Zealand and I got a text from uh, Coralie and I thought, Ed Technology Marvel, she's all that way away <laughs> and <laughs> she can just say, I couldn't get over the technology. <laughs> well, speaking of marvellous technology, she, here's... Uh, just checking if I was all right, you know, she said, what's that? 250 odd Reddit comments. <laughs> Oh, these are the comments? Yeah, yeah. Oh, de oh, lovely, I see, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, they're, um, they're in order. So some of them, so where it's indented there, that's a reply. So that's what someone said. That's what they've replied to it. And then someone's replied to that. Yeah. And then when it's a new comment, it's back over here. Oh, I see. Oh, oh yeah, comments and replies. From, yeah. Oh, I see, from people. Yeah, because it's a forum. So there's discussions going on. So someone will say, wow, this is great work. Oh, I see, yeah. And then someone will uh, reply to that saying, yeah, how do you think he did that? And, you know, oh, I like, see. Oh, blimey. Yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> happening <laughs> <laughs> a little bit then. <laughs> yeah, OK. I'll, I'll have a look at him. I'll put him there. I'll have a look at him this evening. Oh, great. I'll put the ring down this evening. It'd be nice. Now, neither of you want sugar, but you, you have milk, don't you? No, no milk. Who is it don't have, you don't need it? I don't Both know. of us don't have milk. Oh, anymore. right, yeah, I couldn't remember. Yeah. No sugar or milk. No, thank you. Okay. Uh, and I have decaf as well. Have you got decaf? Yeah. You have decaf, yeah. Yeah. Just say we'll have it stark. Stark, you know, it's really <laughs> grim, isn't it? I mean, nothing black, dead coffee, <laughs> nothing. Yeah, no sweetness, no milk to make it like that. Stark. Stark <laughs> coffee, I just Sounds good, doesn't it? Start coffee. You make your own brand. Oh, start coffee, yeah, yeah. The gun right, the gunfighter in, you know, the film Shane. I've got the book there. It's there. It's a really old copy. Old, old. I'll keep it. The gunfighter. That's his first book for his first son, mm. Jack Schaefer. One of the most famous westerns of all time. Shane. You know, right. that's where Shane got his. Your uncle got his name oh. from. And uh, his name Jack Wilson in the film. Mm. Jack Palance, of course he looks right like Palance, you know, that face. <laughs> but in the book his name is Stark Wilson. You can imagine him. Stark. He comes in this walk like character, the fast gun, you know. Mm. Of course the hero beats him in What a name, Stark Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't have to put you off and try to outdraw him. What's his name, this fast draw? Stark Wilson. His second name is Death. Oh right. <laughs> What's your, what are you wearing on your feet? Boots. I was, I was going to say, there was a girl, I knew a girl years ago when, uh, when I stayed with Frankie, my nephew, for a while. I forget what her name was. She's a great big tall girl and she had all like things in her hair and nose. And yeah. Got, well, gothy. She was yeah. actually got, you know, black. And she was about six foot. Big girl. Wow. And boots. Great big, <laughs> bigger than them. Yeah. Great big clumpy army boots. Mm. I thought, blimey, what upset her? <laughs> <laughs> you know, <it's, laughs> Put it on there? Yeah. 150 grams exactly. So I don't know what the original one would be. Uh, let me see. Just an idea. I've just got an idea. Stay there. Yeah. Yeah, if you've got another hammer. <laughs> I mean, that's not the heaviest of hammers. It ain't as heavy as that one. But yeah. just for curiosity, you see what that weighs. Yeah, so that's I a mean, much... they're, they're very heavy. They're, yeah. made, they're made heavy. That's a much smaller hammer. Yeah, these, these are railway. These on the railway. Yeah. Here. Just for curiosity, what does that weigh? 319 grams. That's like twice as much as yeah. that obvious. Yeah. That, like if that was a real hammer, that would be yeah, yeah. a lot heavier. Yeah, yeah. But that's twice the weight. Yeah, yeah. Of course, it's not exactly the same. I told you why I do sometimes exaggerate something, because I like that, so I make it more, more obvious. Yeah. Gives it a sense of realism. I'll pick on something like that. Right, do you want the real one first? 
Yeah, yeah, let's see what the real one weighs. Do you know what it takes them doing? I like to make all those little... Yeah, yeah. The real one first. I don't want to break this. It's, it's quite heavy. Yeah, that's fine. I think it goes up to a few kilograms. Mm. So that's 1.4 kilograms. 1.4k, yeah. That's quite a lot. That is like a yeah. big bag of flour. Yeah. You're going to get surprised with that. <laughs> <laughs> one, yeah, 100 grams, roughly. Yeah. <laughs> 100 grams. So that weighs... About, uh, it'd be like seven percent of roughly. That's, yeah, it's a fourteenth yeah. of the original weight. Yeah. Even <laughs> myself, when I forget, I go to pick one up. I'm ready, ready for it to be the weight because I, you know, <laughs> see there, they're not exactly the same. But that's one I'm because that I did that mostly the, the, the near enough to that. But then I see something like that, so I make it a little bit stronger, and I put that hole in there because there's just a little bit there. But I put that hole in again; it gives it more character. Yeah. You can't improve on nature, but I mean, you try to do make it see like there, that effect there. We get that translucent, so I can yeah. see it. So I I made it larger. See, it's interesting. You made it larger. People notice it then. See, they go, "Oh, that bit there," you know. Right? Do you want the real one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, that's gone off. Uh, if you pick it up, because it's... Yeah, okay, put that down. So that's the real one, is it? Yeah. 524 grams. About 60 grams. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of difference. Because <laughs> so that, 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 that should that should be really heavy. If that's quite, the, yeah, yeah, it would be. Uh, it would be. On. <clears throat> 124 grams. Just do one of the metal objects, maybe. Yeah, sure. One that looks really heavy. Yeah. What about um, <clears throat> trouble is holding has got a base. Which yeah. Weighs, that yeah. weighs a bit. That does. Yeah, the wooden base. Weighs a bit. Throw it uh, off. What about this one? Yeah, yeah. That looks fairly heavy, doesn't it? It does. Hold on. So if we're gonna be able to see the. Yeah, there we go. I can get to that. Five hundred and thirty-seven grams. So yeah, not real welding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the welding through Lee, he said, Lovey, he says, the welding looks real. The kettles were worth, worth doing, I don't think they're fairly light anyway, aren't they, kettles? You know, yeah. they, they always are. Yeah, it's not always. It's not going to be easy to show with some of them. Yeah, but and there's nothing There's I've... nothing there that's particularly, um, you've got the club hammer, but then you've done the hammer anyway. So, uh, what about the log? Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, yeah. That's quite a good touch, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, a few people commented about that online. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, it looks so real. Um, I loved all this stuff, the colours and it, when I picked it. And of course, like, the hit and miss with the chainsaw. Yeah. You know, again, it gives it a sense of realism. The, uh, yeah. I'll put that on there as a lot. Yeah, that's going to be a lot lighter than... Mm. <clears throat> yeah, 600 grams, but that would be... Well, at least a kilogram. That done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. I think we've got um, we've got a good amount of stuff there. If you're happy, we can start on your what yeah, you're working yeah, on at yeah, the moment. Yeah. Great. I'll bring my stand through. And you can uh, show us around your studio as well for people yeah, who yeah. interested in that. Uh, The leather jacket in there. Yeah, you'd have a job to wait for the leather jacket. Wouldn't yeah. You? You'd have a job you wouldn't stand on there. Yeah, it's pointing out the, the bag. Make sure that's closed because they'd say the dust the dust gets in, I've had it, you know. Mm. 
Yeah, what what was it you said that the um the main enemies of paper mache are? Dust and Dust and damp. Dust and damp. Dust and damp, yeah. Well that's the same with any work of art, isn't it? I suppose, yeah. Paintings. Who said, oh we've got to put it on a glass case? So we've got a piece of uh Chinese jade, rare jade, or a piece of um high high class medieval tapestry. Yeah. Clock been made, you know, like a tap tapestry uh, or a special painting or so. I said, or a document. Yeah. I said, they're fragile. I said, it goes in a glass case. Got to keep it dry. Yeah. They keep from dust. I said, you know, don't start. I said to Rory, they gave me the apple. I said, don't start dusting it and washing it. I said, it's only paint. It's yeah. only paint and paint. I know a varnish, but you know, people have to understand that. I said, oh, it's no different to putting anything that you value in a cabinet. Mm. You know, to keep it, you know, that, that's, that's what it amounts to. They think it's not all, you know, too much to look after. But I mean, it depends how much, you know, what, if you value it or not, you know. Uh, yeah. I mean, these things here, I mean, <laughs> if that was real, it'd be quite, quite a weight, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 No, I think we've, we've demonstrated well enough from what yeah, we've shown yeah, then. Yeah. That's good. See, this is how far I've got so far, you see. Ah, so this is the... Yeah, yeah. The frame for the new one. Yeah. So it's got to be a really strong armature, as you can see. It took me a while just to do that, to get it right, you know. So what is that What is that made of? That's, that's just a piece of... Um, it's off of an old... Um, I think it's from an old shopping trolley, you know, off of... Uh, Shopping trolley, you have on a bike, front of a bike. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah just like that's a... what you're saying. I like to cut all the main bits off. Basket. It was just like a big square, so I cut off what I didn't want, you know. And it's quite strong, that. Then I've got to put the wire, I've got to nip this wire now, chicken wire, and I've got to put that round, bend that over, and fold it over. Hold it over so it fits tight. Then I've got to wire it through with bits of wire like this, which I've got here. Yeah. Little bits of wire. And then wire that through to make sure, make sure that it's tight up to that, you see, so it's not doing that, springing. And then I'll have to get some more chicken wire of this. I bought a whole roll of it, got a whole roll over there. And then more chicken wire to fill the inside there. Yeah. Then I've got a chicken wire again, this shape, because I told you it's going to be like a, you know, a point, come yeah. to a point. Um, I'm hoping I can get, I'm hoping that when this wires up, because I won't be able to move it like that then, so easily, I won't be able to move it much. I've then got to sandpaper, well, the final finish, I've then got to sandpaper all this inside and get it dead right, yeah. so it looks like smooth brass. A few dips and bits is okay, that's not too bad, but uh, basically, you know, I've got to cover that with that. Um, in that drawer somewhere, where are we? In that drawer is the shape of the. Somewhere, where is it? Let's put it in that. Oh, no, it's in here. It's in here. Let me move this. Sorry. Sorry. Somewhere. God, there's so many bits and pieces here. It's ridiculous. I don't know if I chucked it, I might have thrown it away. I didn't think I'd need it. No, I must have got rid of it. I must have got rid of it. Well, that's fine, I thought I'd keep that. I thought I'd keep that. But what it is, it's going to come from that angle, it's going to come up from there. You know, 
I suppose like a child drawing of a mountain would be, like a mountain is going to come from there up to there. Okay, yeah. It's going to come to both sides. And then I'll, I'll adjust these so they're just about not quite touching there. And then you've seen these, haven't you? You've seen me do these? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like making a strand. <laughs> when you show somebody, it usually goes wrong and breaks, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like that. But I'll twist these and twist, 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 like that. Right, then what I'll do then, I'll get something like... Should have weighed that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make that one day. I keep looking at that, <laughs> thinking about it, because that would really, that would be a good illusion. That would really be heavy. Yeah. I think what well, it's uh, seven, seven pounds. pounds. Seven pounds. I'll put that on there. See. All right. Yeah. Pin it down, and then I'll gradually spin it like that. It takes some doing. You know, you break more than you keep. Yeah. Because you've got to be so used to tend to pull on it without realizing it. It's so fragile. And you do that right to the end. I can get I can guess that's what happens and I chuck it. I've got to keep a certain length, you know, which is a, a medium length thing. I can make bigger ones. Right? When that's done when that's done, I then I don't let that un, unravel unravel, I keep that tight like that. And then I put the weight Put a weight on there like that. Right. That'll be longer, of course, be right down there somewhere. Put a bulldog clip. Right. Oh, yeah. And the idea of this, it wouldn't work if you didn't have that. You can't do it there. Oh, yeah. Because they'll start to undo. Oh, it can't spin, yeah. Right. I'll leave that probably all day. Yeah. Or most of the morning, right. And then I'll get some PVA. Like that my fingers and then I'll hold it out like and I'll put PVA all over it like that then I'll leave it again probably another day or night and then the PVA will stop it we'll see it will stop oh, it yeah. and take that off like that and that's a thread that's a thread oh, and I'll make, I can make a, you know many as uh, many as many as I want I'm going to get some more ball pitch I have about sort of seven or eight of those lined up you know yeah all lined up And you end up with, you end up if you, you end up if you're lucky. Oh wow! That's, those. Here's one I prepared earlier. Yeah, that's it. One I made earlier. See, loads of them. And then I'll paint them. I'll I'll paint them. Oh, we dropped one. Silver or black or whatever or you know whatever colour. I'll paint them. I hold them on a board. I paint them. Cut them what length? And that's where you get the stitching for the shoes. Oh, yeah. And the, the leather jacket has it got stitching because I couldn't do that then. It's taken me a long while, well, obviously years, to, yeah, to, hone to, the to skill. get these yeah. ideas to suddenly to beat a problem that I've had. And it suddenly came to me. I've tried it. It didn't work at first because, I mean, I'm trying to pull a tiny little piece of tissue like that. And I thought, oh, this is impossible. But gradually, once I got the hang of it, once yeah. you get the, the, you know, how to do it, and it's got to be the right tissue, of course, which is, I've got packs of it there. See, big packs of tissue there. And uh, so the, the, the leather jacket, when I made that, I just made little holes around the collar so it looks like stitch holes. Yeah. But now, if I made that again, or if I wanted to, if someone wanted to buy that, I'd say, how far do you want to go with this? You want the stitching in it? And say, oh, it looks really enough as it is. But then I could make little holes in there and I could put the stitching in if they wanted. Yeah. You saw the jeans, didn't you? The jeans. Yeah. The, See, they're not on the video. They're not on the disc. Yeah. Because they told you the chair that was made of paper mache also got broken. So it's a real chair, but with the paper mache jeans. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah, I told someone that story. About yeah, the... yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, the bloke couldn't help it. He didn't realise. He's just gone, here, yeah, blonk. He didn't know it's paper. And he's fanned it down and the legs busted. Yeah. 
But partly, of course, as well, I didn't have a terrific strong armature in there. I just had chicken wire yeah. and built it round, you see. If I'd have had the real iron struts in there, it might have been all right. But the way it fits on that chair, if anybody bought the G's, they'd go take the chair with it. Yeah. As you see, it fits perfectly on there. Of course, <laughs> taking them off the chair when it's broken, that's a nightmare. Yeah. Because it's all wired through, because they had to be absolutely tight. You can't have G, a piece of cloth on it laying over a chair with a gap. It's got to be absolutely yeah, tight to keep to looking like a torch to make sure there was no gaps. You get a gap here and there if it's rise, you know, cloth rising up. It had to be tight and tight like that around that, round the pole of the chair, the back of the chair. Yeah. It had to be, you know, like that. You know, look, Apple turned out, it's, 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 it's just 20. I mean, so if you, someone said to me, no, you wouldn't, she would at least 50 pounds an hour. But now mm -hmm. again, you know, it depends what you, you've got to try and get into into where money's no object. That's the whole yeah. point of it, isn't it, really? You know? Yeah, it's worth that. I yeah, mean. I mean, yeah. <laughs> somebody will think it's disastrous. If you ask a, an oil shake, and you said, oh, the, the, the carburetor's, carburetor's 10 grand, you say, oh. Yeah, only, like, it's only a, 10 grand. It's a tip yeah. for breakfast, you yeah. know, because it's just nothing. The money would mean nothing, to, you know. Iron Landscape 1 there, 30 hours, 600. Iron Landscape 2, 44 hours, 880. Mm. But as you say, it's probably worth grands. Oh, yes. Yeah, especially one with the, the, the nuts and bolts. Yeah. You know. So those those steel, they're going to look like steel wires. Those those little things I showed you, those little threads, I call them, those little threads. Yeah. I've got to get, I don't know if I've got enough. I might have to make some more. When they're, when they're um, uh, painted silver, because if you plait them, then you paint them silver, you're going to get gaps. You're not going to be, you'll be, there'll be bits where you see white paper. Yeah. So I've got to paint all those silver, two or three coats of colour. So I've got the acrylics there, you see. And then I'm going to plait three of them. You know, you get three of them like that. And I'm going to plait them. I've got to plait them, mm. which is a hell of a job for some of that side. They haven't going to be perfectly plaited, not like a girl plait plait her hair, because it's supposed to be just wire. Yeah. Twisted. That will be strong enough then, and then they'll be strong. When this is finished, when this is all finished, then I can string those through there, and I'll make, I shall make little square plates. I shall use that wire over there, that, um, where is it, can you see it? The thin oh. stuff, standing against the wall. Oh, yeah. I repair cars with it and stuff. Oh, okay. And um, I shall cut there, I shall cut a couple of little squares like that, and then I'll build up with a soft paper pulp until I've got two nice little squares, about just less than a quarter, two nice little squares, and they'll be painted a copper colour. Mm. Then I'll have four holes through which these will go. When they're plaited, they'll go through four. So there'll be two here on the plate, and then two a bit closer together on the bottom. Mm. So it'll be like that. And then that will become... That will look heavy. That will become an iron ball. Yeah. I'll make that into an iron ball. It would be, a, yeah. That's it. You won't be much bigger than that, but it'll be a lot smoother, obviously, with all those lovely, like the holding. Yeah. There'll be all those lovely colours, blue and green, like iron. Yeah. That look at iron ball, and that will sit. That will sit in the, in the wires, which will be slightly sagging, so it look like it's, head bearing down on them. Hmm. So that will be it. So you know. Taking taking weight, I'm calling it, but it, it could look. You could say that when it's finished, you could see people get different ideas and what what it is to them. Henry Moore, you know the great sculptor Henry Moore. Yeah. He said, he said, I've got I've got his catalogue, New York catalogue. They're all signed by him. Oh, proud of that, you know, because <laughs> um, I sent him my drawings of hands. Um, he said, the more like things are, the more interesting they are. Hmm. If you make something that looks like lots of things or different things, more than one thing, which sometimes they do, then they're more interesting. Yeah. So you could say, if you like, you'd say, right, well, that's that's just a sculpture, that's just an idea. Sometimes you'll see great great works of art and it says untitled. They just didn't want to call it anything. Yeah. It's just the shape they had in their mind. Well, this this could be like, you could be like the womb, hmm. like a womb, and then that's like the baby inside. Oh, yeah. Also, it could be like the mother and father leaning over. If you imagine these are two people yeah. leaning over, and then the baby's in a cradle. 
Yeah. So there's quite different ways of looking at it, you know. That's the ideas in the back of my mind, you know. But uh, yes, yeah, the wire armature is always the. It's nice when you start getting into actually layering it and getting the shape. But this, the, the beginnings are always difficult and they take a long time. Yeah. That's where the hard thing. And of course, these look. You keep you keep dicking your fingers with these. Oh God, yeah. I've got, I've got all sorts of you know poking your thumbs and fingers. And uh, see, I keep, I keep stuff like this. See, I keep stuff like that. Oh yeah. See, that was that was a brass screw there. You see, I could build up on on this paper pulp on the end of that with a yeah. little knife with a little scalpel, and then I have to hold that and then sandpaper it. That takes a bit of doing, mm. sandpaper, because you drop them, where'd that go, you know? Yeah. And you sandpaper, then you have to prime it, then you have to paint it the, co the colour you want, because you've got to prime it so nothing soaks. Paint it the colour you want, and then you've got to saw it off. I've, I've got some new blades somewhere, I don't know where they are. Uh, I've got them here, yeah, new blades, they're over there somewhere. Uh, yeah, um, then you saw it, I've got a saw there, you saw them off, the size you want and then you've got to sandpaper the bottom because you're going to be rough mm. so you have to put it on the fine sandpaper make sure like that and then there's your rivets and your screws and your nuts and bolts you know that's how it works see that, that you can make a big bolt out of that see I've had to fill that up with roll it roll the paper and then fill it and make a bolt out of it you've got to put the thread on make the thread out of it you know so I'll keep all these little bits that are left over Apart from the wire armature, I mean, the Daddy Longlegs fly hasn't got an armature, it's too small. Yeah. But anything, you know, anything like the shoe, the, the hammers, anything, the apples, apart from the wire armature, it's all paper. Yeah. I don't cheat. I don't get cotton, I don't get real studs, real screws, you know, it's it's all it's all paper. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I had to make that quite clear for a lot of people online where they were saying, yeah, oh, yeah, what that's about right. the screws? Yeah, yeah, what yeah, about that? Yeah, yeah. It's like, no, it's all paper. It's just got a, it's got a wire skeleton, hasn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Everything will be paper. I can start making this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Great. Cool, we'll be back in a minute. Okay. So this is the this is the boring stuff, you know. But it's essential. I'm sure there's uh, people out there that are going to find it fascinating. You know, I mean, any sculptor, I mean, clay sculptor. Um, when you're making a sculpture that's going to be uh, cast in bronze, you know, eventually you're making a sculpt. I mean, you have to have like wood bits of wire and stuff. You have to have an armature. Everybody knows about armatures. If I showed this to school, they'd say, school to art teacher, yeah, yeah, so you wake up, make an armature. You know, yeah. for, for little children, they have something, I forget what it's called, they made a shoe. Because I was saying about making a shoe, you know, their fingers and that, and said, they've got something, I forget what it is, it's something that sets like a, it sets hard. You can cut this shape and you mix it up and it's, it, it sets hard. Yeah. And you can make a shape, I can't think what it's called, but so the kids were quite safe with it, you know. Yeah, I remember at school we used to use balloons. So you blow a balloon That's up. That's it, balloon, and then you, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pop it. Like making puppets as well, yeah. you know, you use plasticine. Yeah. You know, and then you scrape the plasticine out when it's dry, you know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but I mean, most, I use this because it's strong, you know, and it's, um, you know, you can really build, you can build up with it. It holds the paper meshy well. Mm. I've got to mix up, I've got the bowl there, when I mix up the soft paper pulp at the end for the final finish. Yeah. You know. Well, I mean, you can start using polyfiller and stuff, then you get into, again, it's going to be all chalky and it's going to crack. And yeah. Hey, this, this cracks sometimes. It'll be something like that. I've made something and I'm going to move it like that. And you go, oh, God, it's cracked there. Oh, you know, and you have to repair it. Sometimes things break, you know. So I'm going to wire this through to make sure it's tight on there, you know. 
See, at the moment, I can get these out of the way. But later on, they won't move because that will be round, you know. So I've got to make sure I do this first. Before it gets too difficult to get at it, you know. Yeah. And this is where you get your fingers <laughs> spiked. <laughs> spiked. <laughs> Mr. Spiky. <laughs> So it could take me days to make an armature, you know. Yeah. Because obviously, see that's tight into there now, see? And when I put the other layer on there, I put the paper on it, and you press it right in and it dries hard. And you sandpaper it, and then you go over it again, where all the little dips are, the smaller bits. When you've got a reasonable level, you sand it again. There's a lot of sanding going on. Then you use the pulp to get that, you know, that finish. That should hold that all right. Um, the thing is, I mean, I wish. You know, I mean, you, you can only spend so much time as well. I spend all the time I can on it, you know. But uh, I go to the gym, I mean, I'm sort of like something to eat when I come home. So basically, uh, I'm not starting until after lunch, you know. Yeah. At 12, so I try to be, so like about, uh, I don't know, start about 1 o'clock or something. I say about 12, I'm home by 11 from the gym, you know. You've got to eat and you've got to cook. Yeah. But I spend... I mean, the weekend's good because I don't go anywhere and you can you know, spend as much time as you can on it, it's all you can do. Yeah. I mean, if someone doing I mean, my food and whatever bits of, you know, I'd still train, you know, I'd still keep the training, that's important. Yeah. Without good health, I won't be able to do this. But uh, I could spend longer if I had someone sort of like... Uh, I, I think you get it pretty perfect. Like the the yeah. real, real life objects that you've copied, but... Or, all people have really said is that they're perfect. You can't, you can't distinguish with your eye that it isn't the real no, object. That's right. And you can't really improve on that. Like no. no matter how much time you spend on it. I that do, is... I do worry sometimes. I said to Decker, because he's got stuff that is, he's got four pieces. He's got the boot, the child's boot. You know that went with Emma's boot. <laughs> yeah. That went with the shoe. The child's got the child's boot. Yeah. I'll see. That's getting, uh, it's getting, it's tight in there now. Oh yeah. Sometimes I'm not sure with this one because I've put that's an old case. It's an old case here. Um, I'm hoping when this is finished, it's going to fit in there. I'm okay with height, but I'm, I'm not worried. I'm not sure about how big it's going to be to finish with the surround. Because um, it'd be nice if I had a glass case for this when it's done. Yeah. And that's an old case that took something out which I didn't need. Um, I'm not sure if I need to put another layer of this on here. I think I probably would have to because that they'll be that won't that won't take the paper very well because it's plastic coated. But yeah, I'll probably have to put another layer in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. I think I'm happy with where the camera is now, so I'm going to go keep Holly company. Yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Right. You you crack on and let me know if you want to um, if you want anything or if you want to take a break or and I'll okay, come and yeah, sort the yeah, camera. Yeah. Out. Yeah. Okay. What I'll do, um, does it, can, you, can you, you back it to where it stops? What do you mean? Well, if I, if I stop, Tom, I've gone down to see you or gone down to make a couple oh, of Oh, yeah, I can edit it all, yeah. Oh, that's what I, I mean. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's not running on just on an empty desk with nothing happening. No, no. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah. My problem is... Yeah. Of course, I drink. <laughs> My problem is I wee a lot, <laughs> so I'm always getting up, going down. I said, "Oh, I'm going like this. Oh, I've got to go," to... <laughs> and then come. It annoys me having to stop. Yeah, you know. I, I get the same thing. Yeah. I'm what playing. I need is a tube going from here out the window. Yeah. I just wee into it, and it goes <laughs> like a funnel. Yeah, straight yeah. out into the garden. Saw <laughs> <laughs> sure, suffragettes thing yesterday. All right. Suffragettes. You think of the courage of these women. 
And I want, you know what gets me, I think, where are those sort of women today? Like with all the government and the things they're doing wrong and everything, where are they today? The courage of those women weren't allowed to vote. Well, you know what the suffragettes all about. Yeah. Like, and they locked them up. It was a fictional story, but it was about real, real things. You yeah. know, it's upstairs and downstairs, a bit Victorian household. Yeah. You get to know the characters. Anyway, she gets involved with these people, oh, women forever, blah, blah, blah. And they chuck paint on cars and they damage things, yeah. bricks through windows. You know, what, that woman chained herself to the railings. Yeah. And they paint, oh, posh women a lot, you know. Um, and the woman threw herself under the horse. Yeah. At the Derby, the King's Hall. But um, they locked them up. It's, you mind about the tube thing. Locked them up and then they refused to eat. So what did they do? They held them by their arms and legs on the table. Yeah. They put a tube right... Oh, I mean, that itself, unless you're a doctor, yeah. that could be dangerous. But a tube right way down in, and then pour down force, the funnel. Force fed them, yeah. Force fed them. Oh, you knew about it, yeah. Yeah, we learned about that at school. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, where are those sort of women today? Oh, they're still out there fighting the good fight. Yeah, it's, yeah. Just ask Holly. She's... Uh... Oh, no, there are a few. <laughs> They don't tell us enough about them. You feel reassured then, oh, they're out there, you know. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, yeah, they're out there. Yeah. Look at the women. America. I mean, what gets me, it's like wars. Women could stop, if, if there's more women doing more stuff, they could stop all these idiots that are running these countries. <laughs> they're causing all the bloody wars, you know, like uh, Assad and people like that, supported by Putin, you know. And, um, if there's enough of them, they're, they're lethal. Women are lethal, more than men, you know. Really, mm. You know, um, what was it now? They just, uh, yeah, the prohibition. Hmm. That woman was sick of her husband getting drunk and fights in pubs and, and you know, drunk and brawls. And what she do? She started, she went round and started the, the prohibition. Oh, yeah. And they were smashing, smashing the barrels of beer and running all down the road and everything. Yeah. And there were so many of them, the blokes couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> and the husbands, the husband, of course, got says, right, you're not getting a shag tonight. <laughs> Unless you start going along and helping me or doing what I tell you, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I do want to be crude, but you know what I mean? They've they, they got all the aces, you know. <laughs> I remember a bloke, bloke in the army, American bloke, remember, and he said, he said, he said the women have got all the, when, they, when God dealt with them a hand of cars, he said they gave, gave women all the aces right between their legs. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was quite funny when he said it, all drawly, you know, draw Texan, he was a Texan. Yeah, when God made woman, he went like that. It's a, yeah, prohibition. <laughs> but of course, it, what's sad is that there's a lot of things in this world, a lot of the things like are negative because you had as you, obviously Al Capone and the gangsters, mm. so there's the speakeasies and the under, underworld drinking mm. and the gangsters made money out of it, you know, illegal booze. So yeah. really, it, it it went wrong as well, as well as it went right, you know. So in the end, I had to stop. I really don't believe you anymore. Here comes the same old story like before. The dreams have all been blown away like feathers in the wind. And here I am alone upon the shore I used to think that you could turn the tide But once again you're killing me inside You had the very best of me, now you're moving on But you won't hear me crying when you're gone running out of power actually oh yeah it's one down there yeah can Do you get to that yeah i think so yeah just move move the buckets of water over there spike okay there you go i wish i could afford a sink you know yeah i've got a butler sink see it there lovely butler sink there 
Oh, yeah. I've had it years. I could probably, you've got to get a plumber to... You imagine what it costs getting the water from below. Yeah. All the plumbing to get up here, you know. Yeah. Because I have to keep washing my brushes in here, washing my hands, and then going downstairs and filling them up. Because I can't afford a sink up here. I wish I could. It'd be perfect then. You know. Looking back, I should have known the score That I was filling in and just one more Now I see behind your smile and what a fool I've been So once again I'm following my dream about the the hits and things you talk about these hits on the what do you call it what is it upvotes not facebook is it what is it you do uh, reddit. reddit it's called reddit reddit yeah so i think it's spelled r-e-d-d-i-t reddit but obviously oh, it sounds like you know reddit like reddit, i've read yeah, it yeah. Reddit, yeah yeah sounds like rat poison doesn't it <laughs> reddit. put some reddit down out of yeah reddit i just does it work the same with music um, you can put music on there, yeah. Yeah. I know where you're going with this. Yeah, I, I thought you were. I thought I was a bit self I thought so. I didn't burden him with that as well. But I thought just, just for curiosity, yeah. I, I can try, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll because you know, up. your dad said you've got to send a disc to everybody in the world. And all that. Who, who are you going to send to? Who are the singers? with you forever the way I feel I only know I dance with you forever it's so good and holding you is where I want to be I dance with you forever if you like to dance with me when I dance with you I have to hold you close Somebody said they noticed That I dance with you the most I only know you make me feel so good And i dance with you forever if I could